It seemed that women were expected to be quiet. Yet, I felt that I was just as good as the men. I never saw the point of being part of the group, and I refused the label surrealist. I preferred to walk alone. I always imagined that I would have a life very different than the one imagined for me. But I understood from a very early age that I would have to revolt in order to make that life. As soon as I began painting what was in my head, the people around me were shocked. Things acceptable to read or talk about were repugnant when they came to life. In my imagination, as in everyone, there are elements of fear and horror, but also of playfulness and humor. These ingredients do not exist as separate entities, but interweave and balance each other. <laughs> 